If you could eat one thing from any cartoon, what would it be? It would be a burger from Bob's Burgers. I couldn't pick one, but I'd happily write all of them down on slips of paper and eat whichever one I draw out of a hat. And if I was dealing with a bout of self-hatred, anything from It's Always Sunny that Charlie eats. Sorry completely forgot the op asked for cartoon characters specifically, but I still think people should be aware of this. Bugs Bunny's carrots, I WTF he finds so tasty about it, like when I was a kid, I used to think what's so special about carrots, but turns out nothing, like normal sweet taste. But now I think maybe because the carrots he buys from the stores or farm is more tasty than the one I eat like I'd why the hell I am thinking this? Molten Boron. Nobody doesn't like Molten Boron. Maybe fresh poplars. Ham gum? Usually full of bones anyway, but it does pink in your teeth while you chew. Stop and add Bob's Burgers and pick something up first, and then. Yes 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 a truck stop egg salad sandwich. Yes. A calculator for dessert, to gain its power. I want a chicken or turkey leg as depicted in the cartoons where the meat comes off in a big hunk that looks so chewy and delicious. I've seen stupid food where people chop up meat, then form it in a sort of patty around a bone and wonder if that's as close as you could get in reality. Agatha Heterodyne's coffee from Girl Genius, be sure to see the reactions of her first taster over the next few panels. Although can I please have that coffee with a Ghibli breakfast? Hal's Moving Castle Bacon. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. Because I want to know what a soul tastes like. If they're good enough for Pac-Man, they're good enough for me. Knowing my luck, though, they probably taste like raspberry, strawberry. Lemonade and orange mango. On a Goofy movie, PJ and Max are chillin' in a motel room and Goofy orders them some insanely pepperoni pizza. Like so cheesy that when Max pulls it out of the box, the string pull is insane. Anyways, my expectations have yet to be met. Those meat sticks Sanji makes in one piece for Ruffy. There is a one piece cookbook but they don't have the real thing as recipes, obviously. They have grounded meat around an egg so it looks like one of those drumsticks. I choose Wiley e. Coyote's endless supply of Acme products. Not to eat, but just so I can finally assemble that IKEA shelf with a some assembly required tag that's been mocking me from the corner of my room. I hate the Teletubbies, but I always wanted to try those smiley tubby toast pancake things as a kid. King of the Hill has an episode where they start buying food at a coop and suddenly they're all having come to god moment and asking what they were eating before. That food had to be something amazing. I'd go for Scooby Snacks. Not only do they seem to solve mysteries, but they also look like the only thing that can make you forget you're talking to a dog who's probably a better detective than you. Demon Fruit from One Piece. I don't swim that often and I think it's a W. Unless it's a random fruit so I can get a jacket jacket or even Hito Hito fruit. I that way I prefer to drown. When I was a child it would have been any packed lunch from any mango while nowadays international foods are more accessible. At the time they were the stuff the dreams were made of. Hungry face. I can't believe no one mentioned those Pokemon soups and stews. Even the treats that the Pokemon eat. Makes me drool just thinking about it. I totally marry Brock just for his cooking. I have been dreaming about that piece of mushroom that Alice eats in Alice in Wonderland. The one that looks like a slice of cake. Since I was 6 years old. It looks so soft and yummy. I'd choose the pie that always sits on the windowsill in old cartoons. It's like the ultimate comfort food, always perfectly baked and somehow never eaten by the characters. The double triple bossy deluxe on a raft 4x4 animal style with extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze with light axle grease, made to cry, burned, and let to swim. If I could sit and have a cup of tea with Uncle Iroh? That'd be cool. Or maybe something magic like the foods in Alice in Wonderland or Mana Health Potion Lowell. Not a cartoon, and also not a food. But I'd really like to drink Judy's hot chocolate from the Santa Claus. She took 1,200 years to perfect the recipe, after all. The original Scooby Snacks. The ones that made Scooby moan and float in the air for several seconds, then slowly drift back to the ground as he went ah. I work in the high performance computing field and commonly deal with a scheduler called Slurm so I guess I'd like to try the addictive green soda worm goo. The glove world candy from Spongebob. The book candy from Jimmy Neutron. Most of the food shown in a Scooby-Doo movie. Winnie the Pooh Honey. As a kid, the food on Flintstones was always appealing to me, but maybe that's because I was watching TV right before dinner and was hungry. Tree Trunks Apple Pie. The Sunday from the first Spongebob movie. Jake the dog's like perfect sandwich thing. 
Cookie Cat Ice Cream Sandwich. Remember that old Porky Pig and Daffy cartoon which was a western they had the strength that was made with a welding kit. Al would drink that. Those biscuits that a dog I think Smedley was his name that caused him to float in air and gently float to the ground with a big sigh. I think you'd like try not to eat. The spinach from Popeye for sure. I too would like to punch someone and have them disintegrate into their basic components. The bread and sauce soup the carpenter makes in Alice in Wonderland. Even the way he sliced the bread looked so satisfying. I gotta have that Krabby Patty from Spongebob Man, with a side of kelp shake. Also the rainbow Krabby Patty got me hungry. As a kid I used to read Asterix comics. I always wanted to try the roasted wild boars that Abba looks seed in those cartoons. Nachos from Kim Possible or the gumbo from the princess and the frog. Maybe even the prison chili in Spongebob LOL. And Looney Tunes when the character is super hungry and imagines the other is a cooked turkey, I want that turkey. I'd pick the magic carpet from Aladdin. The smell of carpet is just so that's got to be one tasty carpet. The ramen dinner Sasuke and Ponyo had in Ponyo. That and the honey drink they had look absolutely delicious. Either, Dagwoods, Monster Stacked Sandwiches or a Wimpy Stack of Burgers, which I'll pay you Tuesday for. Jimmy's Candy from Jimmy Neutron. People were breaking into his home to get some bro it must be like crack. Not a cartoon, but the food from Hook that they created with their imaginations. That spread looked dope. That soup in old cartoons where it is a giant cauldron of boiling water and they dip a single pea in it. I wanna try that pig Homer was trying to roast. I wonder if it had a crispness from being so airborne. If we're counting comic books, I always thought the cow pies from Desperate Dame looked amazing. The breakfast that Sophie cooks in Howl's Moving Castle. Most anime food always looks so good. I came looking for someone to say Mrs. Incredibles lost a girl's ass. I am disappointed. The amount of people saying that they'd like to eat the character rather than the food, Skull. The ultra-thin bean sandwich from that Disney cartoon retelling of Jack the Beanstalk. Brando burgers or those giant ass ribs that tip your car over from the Flintstones. Popeye's spinach from the Kimba only if it had the same effect lol effect. I know it's not a cartoon but any food from the imaginary food fight scene in Hook. Plankton from Spongebob. I'd cry but I've always wondered what he would taste like. The sapphire cupcakes from My Little Pony. The ones with the gems and the frosting. Those loafy warm soft bread and tasty looking aromatic chicken from Tom Jerry. Old school would be Garfield's lasagna. Newer cartoon, Bob's Burger of the Week. A 5 feet tall sandwich for Scooby Doo with a rope tied around it to make it smaller. Not technically food, but I'd love to take a sip of a nice cold thunder blast. Whatever that grass was that Spike ate in land before time. Shoot Lee is too. Some of Bender's LSD lays food and money salad from THR Iron Chef episode. Sinzu Bean. Would you anything wrong with me that I might not know about? Rogue from the X Men. But I don't think that's what the op meant by eat. The fruit of the tree of might. One bite and you're basically a demigod. That cat food from Oliver and Company. The one with like whipped cream. Try the gray stuff, it's delicious don't believe me. Ask the dishes. The perfect sandwich from Adventure Time. It has lobster sole in it. Big ribs and Flintstones. Or any cartoon meat hunk on a bone really. The pizza from a goofy movie. It has no business looking that good. The gray stuff from Beauty and the Beast. I hear it's delicious. That chocolate cake from Mr. Bean. Or Tubby Toast from Teletubbies. Olive oil from the Popeye cartoons, because I heard it's healthy. The pizza from that one movie where Tom and Jerry went to Mars. Weary face. Definitely the bread from Aladdin. Does anyone have the recipe? Mummy jerky from Futurama. Preferably the teriyaki flavored one. The pizza from a goofy movie and the honey from Winnie the Pooh. Sinzu Bean. Could feed a Saiyan. Must be one hell of a meal. The ratatouille from Ratatouille. The dish, not the chef. That holographic meatloaf from Spongebob looked really good. Some of the food that's on some anime. They look delicious. A Krabby Patty. I want to know what all the hype is about. Homer's patented space age out of this world moon waffles. Helen Parzas Ratatouille from the eponymous movie. Krabby Patty. Or the beignets from Princess and the Frog. Whatever lets the characters survive thousand foot drops. Not really a cartoon originally but green eggs and ham. Peppa Pig food. I can't choose but it looks way too good. A big plate full of beignets from Princess and the Frog. Popeye's canned spinach seems like it packs a wallop. A boar from an asterisk book. They look so delicious. Those seeds from Dragon Ball that heal all injuries. Always wondered what a roasted Pokemon tastes like embarrassed smiley face. Whatever was in that juice from the old gummy bears. The cracker dipped in the milk from the Aristocats. Beast Boy's vegan tofu from Teen Titans 2003 a cartoon. Double batter fried Krabby Supreme from Spongebob. 